Hey guys, welcome back. This is Gina. I am doing the third part of the pot that that I did. Now it's all covered, all nice and dry. Has some rips, but that's okay. I can cover that up. But I like how bright it is. I was going to cover it up with gesso, but I like this. I like how it looks. And it's going to go outside in my house. So, um... You can really see this from the street. I just, oh, it's adorable. So far, so good. I could even leave it like that, and it looks great to me. But I am going to put something over it. Not at all of it, just, just a little bit. I have this Flourish stencil by um, Tim Holtz that I'm going to use. But I am going to use my 3D gloss gel. The reason why, well one is because it's transparent and two because I already used it on the pot itself and that way I won't have to sand. So I'm also going to mix in some cotton candy pink in with the gloss gel. I don't know if you guys know about this, this is the um, color shots. And you can mix any kind of medium with it and it'll turn pink and um, two different tones of pink. It's awesome. <laughs> and since my roses, if you remember, my roses are pink, but um, I want to make them a little bit more interesting. So let's start on this first. All you do is get some medium. I'm going to put it right here on my my craft table. Okay. I'm going to close this up so it won't dry out. Grab some of the color shot and put it right in. And only put a little in at first. You can always add to it. Okay. And then mix it up really good. Remember, this is transparent, so... Oh, it's going to be so pretty. <laughs> I like that word, apparently. All I'm doing is mixing through my, my medium of choice. Mixing it really good. I have been super busy the last two, three days, so I really, really apologize for not getting these videos out right away. It's just, oh, I've been working 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. And when you work something like that, you come home and you're just dead to the world. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys can see the two colors. And I left it a little bit um, not mixed in. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Remember to always close your, your bottles because this is mica and if you breathe it in it's it's kind of harmful for you. So all I'm going to do is grab the stencil and place it down. While holding it I'm going to trowel over my newly made um, medium here. And again you don't have ever, ever have to be perfect. Just go for it. Nobody will come up to your project and say, um, yeah, look at that right there. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that to mine. And I highly doubt anybody will come up to yours. This is for my own pleasure. Have it outside, be nice and pretty.
and I like how it's irregular. It's going on there, but it's probably going underneath too, which is fine. <laughs> oh, it completely did. <laughs> It's so pretty. <laughs> That's okay. Again. See, I make mistakes all the time. And it doesn't look bad. It's just like, okay. I messed up. Let's move on. over here and one last one Making sure I'm putting it on the lip too. I mean, even though I messed up, I, I still want it to be uniform all the way around. You know, I think it looks not bad. Okay. It's like points pointies over here. I'm going to use some of these embellishments. I'm going to put one of them, I'm going to trowel on some of this medium. And the other ones, I'm going to put on um, Pueblo. Pueblo is um, the, the oil paints. Moon, pris, Prismi, and um, I don't know how to say it. It's a glass paint. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video so I can put my medium away and clean up my area, and I'll be right back. Okay, it'll be like two seconds for you. <laughs> okay, I'm back, thanks guys. Okay, now I'm, I'm just shaking up the, um, Pablo's um, paint. Make sure you always have to make sure they're really, really nice and shook up. These are specialty paints. They do um, these really cool. I don't, I don't know if you can see that in the background. It's like eggshell. It's really cool. So I'm going to put on a Prisme Fanti by Pueblo. And you can use a brush, that's fine. But with something like this, I'm just gonna pour it on. I just want a little bit of this, this color. Hopefully you can see that. My hand's in the way, isn't it? I got these um, little tiny jelly jars that I store all my embossing powder that I make and my medium that I just made, I store them in there. But if you if you store your medium, I would highly recommend putting some wax around it if you're gonna have it in there for over a week. And then now I'm just putting in the second color. This is the moon apricot color. Whoa. 
way too fast. And you, if you use, let me just spread this. If you use um, a brush, always use mineral spirits to wash it after using this. This is oil chain or oil based. If you guys didn't know, if you have no um, mineral spirits to clean your brush, you can always use, oh, I'm just um, spreading it to the sides, being very careful not to go over the side. But you can use baby, um, baby oil. A lot of people don't know that. Um, baby oil, you can clean all of your brushes with it. Hopefully you can see that. See that cool um, effect it's come go, doing? Hmm. I'm going to do this arrow. But I think I'm going to do it in the turquoise. Yeah. Pable Moon turquoise. Hopefully you can see that. It's looking pretty cool. And something that, like the arrow, just be very careful you don't go over the sides. That's it. I'm just going to sporadically put this on here. Okay, that's it. Because I want to put, you know what, I'm going to put the apricot. I'm going to put the apricot with it. Careful when you're spreading it. You don't want it to go everywhere, of course. How was your St. Patty's Day weekend, guys? My kids went to the parade. They didn't get as much as they usually do. But they had a blast, they said. So I was really happy about that. I come home, I'm like, wait a minute, there's only like five cabbage. You guys usually get 20 or 30. <laughs> Last time I, guys, I talked to you guys, we have this um, parade down here that has 35,000 pounds of produce that they throw. And my kids love it. So do I. I'm a parade, like, junkie. Especially this one. I mean, you get free food. Hello. <laughs> it's so funny how people um, get so frustrated and they bump into people. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm just going to put some on this one. Probably gonna put a little bit around the edges. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use this. And then I'm going to use this red cherry blossom. Where is the lid? Oh, oh my goodness. 
I can't wait till you guys see how these look tomorrow. Okay. Here's the cherry blossom, pretty. Pour it right on. And I'll go in between the cracks. Ah! Bombs away! Don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry for the sake of the video. I'm going to put a little bit, okay, come on. I'm going to put a tiny bit on the roses just to make it stand out. Okay, the big mess over here. Sorry, I'm just shaking it up. I was thinking it would be kind of cool if I, when I put this stuff on there, that um, I can put some mica flakes in it. I think that'd be kind of cool. Everybody like dry, dry mica flakes. And now I'm just painting this on. Hopefully, you can see this. I just want a hint of this color on this one. Just going around the edges. I like how this looks. Okay. Now I'm going to put some mica flakes on it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look how chunky those are. I'm going to try not to get too much on there to make it look horrible. Okay, it's a lot right now. I'm gonna shake it off a little bit. Okay. This one fell off, but that's okay. You can have it going down, see, down like that. Okay. This one, I think I'm going to do the whole thing. Why not? Isn't that pretty? I am making a mess. 
<laughs> but again, that's fine. That's what I like about art. Make a big old mess. So what do you think? You like my little flowers? I'm going to put some mica flakes on this one. And call it a night because you have to let this dry overnight. I apologize. Trust me. I, I did not want to do that to you guys. <laughs> Make another video. But I kind of have to. I apologize. But it's an excuse to come and see me again. <laughs> okay, that's it. This one's kind of a lot, Gina. That's okay. I'll see you guys back tomorrow. And all this would be dry and cleaned up. <laughs> And we will finish this project. I appreciate you coming. Thanks, guys. Till tomorrow. Bye.